So I promised you guys a Disney themed build. So I was trying to think what Disney film should we build something from? But then I had an even better idea because I was struggling to pick which Disney film to use. Why don't we do several of them, like the top five? So today we're gonna be building a house, but every room is a different Disney film. Someone's probably done this before. So I actually built this house inspired by The Incredibles, which is one of my favorite movies. I think this was the house in the first film and I love that all of their homes are like super mid-century modern. I love that so much. And then I just kind of made up the back of it. So this is the home we're gonna be furnishing with different movie styles. So I've already created a list. So the entrance, we're gonna do Tangled. Then we're gonna do The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Lion King, and Frozen. So we just wanna be inspired by these films. We're not actually building anything literally from them. But for example, for a Frozen theme room, we're gonna go with lots of blues, whites, Frozen, icy aesthetic or something like The Lion King, that room's gonna have more of like a desert, an African theme. All right, so let's begin, shall we? Let's maybe start off with a little bit of a tangled look and feel. By the way, I'm also uploading this home to the gallery furnished in like a normal way that suits the house because this is gonna start looking a little crazy potentially. Oh, and I almost forgot, we do have the advent calendar to open. I've been opening this every video, at least I've been trying to. Uh, so we've got a cleanse tea today. Fennel, nettle, and peppermint. That sounds really good. we we'll just let this uh, blue brew for a little while. Mm. So if I look at Tangled on Google Images, we can see that there is a lot of this like Tudor style of toys and the tower that she actually lives in. Oh, I think someone actually built it in The Sims. And I feel like we should definitely be inspired by lots of green grass, her purpley pink dress. And the interior of the home has kind of got French looking furniture and story looking furniture in it and clocks and things like that. So very fairy tale. So now I've just got to apply it to this room, which is kind of funny because it totally does not go with this house at all. So recently when we did this every room is a different challenge, we did colors, but I actually tried really hard for it to look legit and really good. Whereas this one, I feel like we should just have a little bit more fun with it and not really care about the aesthetic as much. I mean, this door just looks kind of tangled, you know what I mean? But I feel like that's an obvious choice. And I think we need some Tudor styled wallpapers. And if you're wanting Tudor style, you do, you gotta get to get together wallpapers because this is where it's at. Well, it's even a storybook aesthetic, which is just perfect for us. I'm thinking we go with like a nice candelabra. Oh, I wish we did this for kitchen. This would have made the cutest kitchen. We could honestly have some like trees growing around here. I mean, why not? Why not live a little? Also, I am so confused because I keep seeing all of these new random items in my game. And I think it might be the Sims free delivery update, but I'm actually not sure because they don't tell you what's new and what's not. So it might've just been CC that I've downloaded. And I honestly have not looked it up because I haven't been like crazy excited about because I don't know what it is. So I really would love it if they just let us know what the new stuff was maybe in the game so we don't have to go look what it is it would just be kind of handy this is such a cute collection of items i think they did really well with this oh my gosh we could put okay okay why don't we like put this here is that gonna go through the wall actually it's okay this is perfect it's also a little bit farmhousey french country maybe do any of these come in purple i think it's so important that we have the purple color i'm not seeing it Okay, I think the best thing we're gonna find is probably this lilac color or this purple color. I actually think the light purple's nicer. Maybe like some castle stone behind it. And maybe a clock could be a good thing. I don't know what it is about clocks, but clocks always seem magical to me. I suppose that old fashioned sense of time. And I feel like clocks in a lot of film are very symbolic of some kind of magic. Let's definitely have a clock. Might put some gardening type shelves here as well. 
Oh, I know that gardening isn't really... Is it a thing in Tangled? I swear it's so long ago. You, like, diehard Disney fans will be like, it's not right, you're doing it all wrong. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not the best with knowing each and every Disney film, but I'm just gonna do the best I can. And by all means, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this build and also how you think we're going with it. I mean, I kind of don't mind this, but it's probably a little bit too bright. I don't know, I think part of the film is is very outdoorsy, so I feel like a gardening station's okay. Oh, we should get a mushroom stool. Mushroom. Oh, so cute. I mean, it kind of looks like the outside of our tower walls, right? We just need like gold hair coming down. <laughs> All right, so that's our little tangled zone of the house. I think that's that's okay, it's pretty good. I mean, I think it kind of looks like tangled with the purple. Okay, so in terms of Aladdin, maybe we can do like Middle Eastern, Moroccan kind of look and feel. I haven't seen the new live action film. I do want to see it though. Is it any good? The reason why I instantly think of Moroccan is because we actually have the Moroccan pack. Oh no, it's a Moroccan kit. That's right. We like some rich red walls. Oh, it looks like these are kind of awkwardly placed, aren't they? So the wallpaper doesn't really match up. Ooh, this is cool. So I was reading about the set design in the new Aladdin film, and they actually didn't want it to be set on a particular religion or area. They wanted it to be a blend of influences, which I found to be quite interesting in terms of the world of, uh, was it Agrabah? <gasps> I was gonna use this, but obviously we need like a magic carpet, right? We'll use this beautiful couch. And they do use a lot of pinks and purples in it from what I can see on Google Images. Arabic, purples, blues, reds. It's very beautiful. Okay, now I really want to watch it looking at all these pictures. <laughs> I literally just want to watch the film just to see the set design. Now we're definitely not going to find a magic carpet that looks like the magic carpet, but maybe something purple could be good. Like, I feel like this is probably the closest we're going to get. And now I'm just not sure about that going with this wall color. Okay, I think I'll go for a more brownie color. Oh my gosh, I just remembered this is super tangled. Like, I really don't feel like any of these fireplaces particularly work in here. I mean, maybe this one? It's a little strange having it indoors, but I suppose it doesn't really matter in this context. Need lots of floor cushions. Where are those Moroccan looking side tables? Ah, here it is. Oh, I love that they're in blue as well. I feel like every Disney film kind of has an associated really strong color with it. So Ariel, it would be red. Aladdin would be blue. Tangled would be purple. So if we identify those colors and we make them really pop in our rooms, I think we'll definitely be on the right track. I think this kind of works as well, these lamps. I do feel we need a TV in this room, but somehow we can make it look a little bit more Aladdin-esque. I really need a lamp. This isn't gonna give us a genie's lamp. This is kind of like a, a genie's lamp, is it? Not really. Oh, these pots look good. Ooh, this is kind of like a lamp, maybe? Not really. Maybe instead of this floor cushion. Oh, here we go. We can use the tea set as our lamp or lantern right here. I think out of all the Disney princesses, Princess Jasmine is probably my favorite. And what would make more sense is probably something like this as the divider. I feel like that looks better. I would love to find some kind of lantern or lamp from the roof. Actually, Batu lamps, even though they sound kind of weird, I think they kind of work because they're so ornamental and golden. I think that does work. That's not bad for Jasmine or for Aladdin. I mean, I think this is representing the Aladdin that I know and remember. So you guys, you guys let me know. We've got Tangled, Aladdin. Okay, kitchen. Let's do kitchen and dining as the Little Mermaid. So this is quite a big space. Could have actually separated this, but I didn't. So under the sea theme, that's pretty easy. There's going to be lots of blue, some hints of red. It's basically got to look like it's underwater. Well, I think what we could do is maybe have the look of sand in here. Maybe, what else have we got here? Or maybe, yeah, maybe this beachy look. 
I mean, wallpaper, probably blue. <laughs> Sailing boots. Even, I suppose we could actually extend this around. Well, seaweed green. I actually think this other sand is a better option for us. Okay, and how the heck do we make a kitchen look like Ariel? I don't know. <laughs> Why did I pick this for the kitchen? Blue counters or sandy colored counters? I think we're going to need maybe a fish tank in here. You know, fish tanks are one thing that I never like ever use in The Sims 4. Actually, in any Sims games, I have never liked the fish tanks. I think because I feel bad about fish being in fish tanks. Like it kind of, it makes me a bit sad seeing them in captivity. And I once had a fish. I think I had two fish that my ex-boyfriend had bought me. And I always was sad that it was like stuck in there. And it's fish bowl, so I never got fish again. Also, let's have a look for some underwater looking plants. And this is kind of underwater looking, I suppose. This kind of looks like seaweed, right? I feel like these plants also look like they are from underwater. You know, I rather those than, than this situation we've got going on here. Ooh, this looks like seaweed too. Okay, okay, we've got a bit of an underwater looking thing going on here. That's not bad. And aren't there lots of, oh, there's like columns and stuff in the underwater kingdom. I think in the film they went for more of a Grecian look or like classic renaissance look in terms of the columns but I kind of like these ones from Jungle Adventure for a little bit of a different spin of our own because they kind of look like sandy. Oh we did put these pictures up. I think these are the photographs you can take in island living when you go diving. Okay that looks very ocean floor like to my eyes. Maybe for the kitchen counters, instead of going for something modern, we could go for something that looks a little bit more like beachy. A red oven to represent Ariel's hair, sandstone walls. I do feel like these get famous lights kind of look like seashells in a strange way. I kind of thought about putting fish on the walls, but then these fish are kind of dead and taxidermy-like, so I really don't want to put them up on the wall because it's basically like flounder on the wall, which is horrible. Ooh, we could use this jungle adventure greenery. Oh, wait, it has a big shadow. It's a bit of a bummer, but that definitely looks like seaweed. I also just had a thought, what if we can build a pool next to this? You know, just build a pool like this and then have windows looking into it. Yeah. Now we're looking a little bit more like the little mermaid. Okay, that's kind of cool. And we could lift this fish tank up. We can like see fish tank through the window too. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad. Okay, what kind of dining table looks fishy? <laughs> or underwater like? Like a old ship's dining table with a tablecloth? Or stone? Like rocks? I feel like these chairs are super duper Disney looking. And it can also give us a little bit of pink and purple too. Okay, I do 100% think that this room has turned out to be a little bit of a hot mess. I, I don't know if we did do well on this one. But we tried, we tried. Oh, it's kind of beachy. Okay, this office is going to be inspired by the Lion King. So you gotta think Pride Rock, Africa, Desert, Jungle, or Plains, African Plains, Jungle. So I instantly think of Jungle Adventure, maybe cracked old tiles, kind of, maybe something more like this. This kind of looks like a hyena. Oh, hyena, hyena, cage or something, cave, cage. I'm really struggling with my words today. Some bread in here, okay. I've just got the, I just want to be king song stuck in my mind. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard using the Lion King aesthetic to do some kind of interior design in The Sims 4, especially for something like an office. Maybe they should sit on a rock. Is there a rock seat? I know there's like a rock side table. Oh, here we go. All I'm thinking about is pride rock. Like that's all that's in my head right now, pride rock. So I'm just thinking about stuff that looks like a rock. These lights look like African inspired maybe. Ooh, ooh, giraffe, yes. We stand a giraffe lamp. I'm actually going to use some of the safari themed items in Tiny Twavelers by Hey Harry and Felix Andre. Okay, so we're kind of turning this into a safari now. 
Ah, oh, the archaeology table. Okay, Lion King right here. And maybe, I know this sounds really bad, but I'm gonna put like a fur rug in, but it's gonna be faux fur, okay? So not actual animal. But I do feel like we need that fur of a lion somewhere. As faux fur, maybe even a zebra. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of grosses me out a little bit. All right, so we've done Tangled, Aladdin, this, which I hate, which was the Little Mermaid, the Lion King. And now let's do a frozen bedroom. I don't think we need to look at pictures of Frozen either. I feel like we all are aware that Frozen is about ice and freezing stuff and snow and very sparkly in Disney. So maybe let's do this as the floor. I feel like we need a softer blue wall. This is too blue. Oh, that's very icy looking, reflective white walls. Okay, is there an ice blue bed? What is this one? Ooh, I think this one looks more icy because it's got glass on it. Kind of does look like an icy bed. Sometimes when I talk about icy things, my teeth actually feel funny. Is that just me? We have these get famous beds, but they don't look very icy to me. I mean, we do have the white one. I'm pretty sold on this. And now I have Let It Go stuck in my head and I would sing it for you guys, but you know, I'm not in the mood to be copyright striked on this video. These kind of look like snow. Well, these look very icy. They're a little big. I wonder if there is anything like an ice sculpture in the game. I think there's an ice sculpture. Ice, ice, baby. Okay, that is literally ice cream or snow. Oh, perfect. We've got these. Oh, here we go. There's our icy snowflake. Oh, I love these chairs by Sixum from their hotel pack. I feel like they suit this. Oh, even the, the get together one works quite well. Oh, I just found these shell decorations from Get Famous. They don't really fit. Oh, I also found the dolphins too. Oh, and a boat. Could have used that. I think these doors should be like glass or something. Something icy. Another key word would be glass. Representing like glasses. <laughs> oh, these are good. These candles. Maybe the chimera. I'll just put some like beauty things over here. Oh, we could do the, the see-through chair. That's kind of like icy looking, isn't it? This chair? Nah, it doesn't really look that good. Let's do the tiny traveler's chair. Okay, I think we're ready for the grand Disney tour. First up, we have the frozen. No, no, no. First up, we have the tangled room. So lots of green grass, leaves, the outside of a castle wall, very fairy tale looking and storybook kind of furniture and step through to a whole new world around the corner. Lots of Moroccan pieces. I kind of want a bubble blower here, but coffee table's probably more appropriate for Disney. I really dislike this kitchen. I want to delete it. I really, it's just a hot mess. It was really hot. I tried to do something that was like underwater themed, but I just couldn't make it happen or look good. So let's never look at that again. Then we have Lion King inspired. So this is a little bit of jungle, a little bit of Africa. I quite like this one. And through the big glass doors, we have Frozen. So this is our frozen bedroom, frozen curtains, frozen sculptures. Yeah, so let me know what you thought of this little challenge. I don't know how well I think I did. I think I did okay. I think I did okay. But let me know if you have any other challenges in mind. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Ta-ta!